welcome back to Travelling Box with me, Tanya. In my new car. Do you know what it is yet? It's big. Seven seats. I've configured it to suit the dogs and stuff already. I've just spent all morning in here um, installing my dash cam. That was fun. So I now know the car very, very well as I've had to remove panels and stuff to one all the, the wires through. But yes, here it is on my front and uh, there, underneath my rear view mirror. And the rear one is there on the back window. Oh yes. Do you want to know what it is? No one guessed it. No one guessed it. The closest person uh, said, um, a Discovery Sport HSE. No, this is a Land Rover Discovery 4 HSE. Three litre diesel, automatic, with all of the toys you could possibly imagine. Oh yes, it's got the fancy doodah dial from Jaguar, which goes up and down when the ignition is switched off. Um, your suspension raising bits and doodars there, your multi-terrain bits and doodars there, uh, your basic audio system is sat nav, my phone, different ways of getting audio, etc, etc. Um, yes, it has climate control, dual zone climate control, so if I switch that on, I've got the best set to 20 at the moment. Heated seats, uh, heated windows, and max power for defrosting. Uh, let's see what else there is. Cruise control. Um, it's in the different modes to control that on your steering wheel. Paddle, gear selectors. Yes, your phone stuff. That's the heater. I keep knocking that by accident uh, when I get in and out of the car. Yes, it has everything I could possibly, possibly want. And she's beautiful. Capable of towing three and a half tonne. So she will more than tow my Venus. Yes, the three sunroofs going all the way along the back or the top of the roof. Oh, everything's electric. Memory seats. <laughs> which is great because it takes me ages to get my seat back into position once someone else has been in the car which is really annoying so now I've just set the memory uh, yes I'm loving it I've already got my my phone cradle on and my holder for my tom tom sat nav when I'm towing it's beautiful so yes this is what I've got uh, this is my dream car. It has been for a long time. I didn't think I'd be able to afford one. I'm still not sure I can. Uh, because whereas it, it ticks absolutely every box, the one box it doesn't tick is economy. £675 a year road tax. Whereas my Ford was £32 a year. So yeah, it's going to cost me more a month than it did a year. Um, insurance is a 41E. Fuel economy is not as bad as I thought it would be, um, but still nowhere near the Ford. Uh, what else? Sound system's amazing. Um, I, I just, I just love everything about this car seriously love everything when i picked it up yesterday um oh keyless entry as well so i've bought some faraday pouches um because i don't want it getting stolen weirdly enough um yes where was it when i picked it up yesterday um the fuel tank was near enough empty i had 13 miles available and I picked it up from Watford so I had a fair bit of traveling to do uh, so um, yeah quickly filled up with fuel and filling up the whole tank and it's a massive tank I can't remember what the capacity is but it's huge um, cost 90 pounds that's not much more than it cost to fill up my other tank so be interesting to see 
how long a tank of fuel lasts me in this car. It doesn't have 13 pin electrics, it has the old fashioned 12N and 12S, so I've bought an adapter, that's fine. I can still plug my 13 and still charge my fridge, which I couldn't do in my Ford because I only had a seven pin plug on the Ford, so I could never have my fridge and freezer on when traveling, which meant stuff defrosted, which is grim. Um, yes, so that's it. Happy, happy, happy days. Mm -hmm.